Why does God answer your prayers? Because you're good, because you're holy, because you're perfect? No, because it glorifies the Son. He said, well, yeah, but why would God use me? I get the answered prayer thing. Okay, I got that. But why, why would God use me in power? Because it brings God pleasure whenever he can take the least likely, the least qualified person and use them. Back years ago when I taught martial arts, I was always, I, I didn't, you know, I had uh, people that were natural athletes. They come in, it wouldn't have matter what they did. They'd been in every other sport. They were excellent. They would excel no matter what they did. Why? Because they were natural athletes. And they were just good at whatever they did. And anybody could train them. You didn't have to be a good trainer. So what I did was I focused on finding the most lanky, uh, the most uncoordinated you know, the, 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 the kid that was always getting beat up in school, picked on and bullied. And I was always looking for that person. And I said, because I can take that person. And if, and if everybody knows that guy, and believe me, when you're the kid that gets picked on in school, everybody knows you're that kid. And I said, if I can take that kid and turn him into a fighter that wins every fight, guess what? What does that mean? Does that mean he was an athlete? No, it means I was a good trainer. So what does God do? God looks for the lankiest, most uncoordinated, least gifted, least talented. The, every, the person, everybody says, they'll never amount to anything. They'll never be anything. You'll never fulfill anything. You'll never be what God wants you to be. Why? Because you messed up, you messed up, and you messed up, and you keep on messing up, and you just got a habit of messing up. God will never be able to use you. And then the Holy Spirit steps in and says, that's the guy I want. Because whenever he starts winning, everybody will know it wasn't him. It was the fact that he had the best teacher, the best trainer that ever existed. That's who he is. Amen? That's why there's hope for us. Why? Because we have the best teacher that has ever existed. We have the best trainer that ever existed. And he, dwe he didn't just come and visit us. And we don't have to pay him for his visits. He moved in. Yes. 